Hey guys, how's it going for you? I hope it's fine, but for me it not it was not a great late night. There was no party and I was disappointed and of course the after effects have followed as well. But I'm having ex uh, a good time right now exploring uh, Itsy Bitsy Architectures in North Goa on my bike, still having a good time. So you must be thinking, what is this girl talking about? You're not interested in it and you just want to know about the architecture right behind me. It'll be coming up. So what's so great about this building, this church and the architecture of it? Actually nothing. Northern part of Goa doesn't have so many beautiful churches or temples like that. It is more of a party hub, late night parties at a beach and obviously a wonderful coastline of all the beaches are beautiful over here and you know what the place i'm sitting over here and making the video is in just a hexagonal shape a small dome and it's echoing can you hear me i hope so so why did i make this video and what do i want to say about this church this is a serious thing yet again and experiences from my childhood so i want to ask you a serious question are you ready for it Hope so. Uh, oh, base, by the way, this is called as the Maya Dias uh, Church um, in Salegao. And it, it looks good. Okay. So basically, a church is more of, uh, uh, I'm very fond full of it. I started my schooling in a Christian school. And since the day I entered that uh, church, chapel in the school, I really felt in peace and I could connect to Jesus. I do not know why. And till date, if anyone is traveling to me and you see me going to a cathedral, you'll be wondering and asking me a question like whether I'm a Christian or what, because I do tend to sit long for there. I really like it actually. That was the dome I was speaking about. It does echo over there. So coming back to the serious question, what is it in Christianity and what is it in Jesus that I get lured to it? So I'm a I just attracted to it. If you have observed or noticed any of the sculptures, statues and pictures of uh, Jesus, it's more of crucifixion time. I know it was painful time of his life and uh, all of his photos though portrayed sadness and the pain in him. Maybe God is just saying that I have taken all your pain and so please you know have faith in me and keep going. Maybe that's the way he's communicating with his uh, followers. On contrary, if you have observed the photos of Hindu goddess and goddesses, if you see serenity, a subtle smile, calm and peacefulness. I do not know who created, who came up with those uh, pictures of the goddess and the god, but don't know, that is what it conveys. Maybe that's how they are telling like, keep smiling and just keep going with a smile. Maybe that's, that's the big contrast or that's how the portrayal is of the goddess and goddesses. No offense to anyone over here. Again, it's just my point of view and I'm thinking, seriously thinking on it. I do not know. Do let me know your thoughts as well and we'll discuss about it later. And right now I'll just go roam around in this hot sun, maybe sit at the beach uh, and I'll be back. Maybe I should get a cameraman or a makeup man as well. I'll be back after a touch-up. Ta-da!